we haven't had a vlog in the last two weeks, so this is totally crazy. And so, <clears throat> the massive announcement is just said, you know what, I gotta try this now, otherwise I'll regret it for the rest of my life. And so I moved to New York in 2006, said I'm gonna give myself two years to see if I can make the acting thing work. What drives you? What motivates what you? What inspires you? What drives what you? What motivates what you? What fires you up? What inspires you? What gets you? you up in the morning? Saw you run across this vein. Stoned and drunk across this vein. Still can't show you how. We're gonna go and we're gonna send you um, uh, the photos of the listing at Olympic Tower. Okay. We're gonna make some phone calls to a few other people in the building as well, just to see who really needs to sell. Um, and we're gonna to put together a, a, a new list, now that we've had this phone conversation, of a few other options that I want you to take a look at. One of the most common questions I get asked all of the time is what motivates me? In order to answer that question, we gotta go all the way back to Colorado. And I remember when you worked for Jim Test, I said, what'd you learn? He said, I don't wanna to have to do this when, I, when I'm out on my own. That's true, that's true. Carrying shingles and doing demolition is something I never wanted to do. Now, if you watch the vlog, you may have heard me say a lot that in 2008, I had an option in front of me. I was completely out of money and it was stay in New York City and figure it out, or I could go home to Colorado where my parents had moved, Okay? And I could have painted fence. And I made the decision at that time. I said, you know what? I painted fence before, miles of fence. And it fucking sucks. But I don't wanna do that stuff anymore. It's not enjoyable and I don't like doing it. And there's more in life for me than manual labor, working in construction. And I had an opportunity to stay in New York City and New York City was gonna give me something. And for those of you who don't know, in February 2019, I had my first kid, Zena, my baby girl. Um, and then what wakes me up every morning is definitely the baby. Yeah. <laughs> what truly motivates me is the fear of wasted potential. I know you've heard me say that a thousand times, but like, I am terrified of leaving something on the table. Can't come into this one. You made a mystery out of love. Like for me, it's always been about say yes and figure it out later. Like I'd, I'd rather regret the things I did than the things I never tried. Right? That is like that'll be on my epitaph. You brought new light. Whoa, 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 but not There's no mistaking. You're the only one I want. Ask how where you got it. This doesn't look like it was from me. If it was, then I, I don't know. Okay. But I guess it did. Can you walk and post that? Or... Po post what? Football. Patriots. Um, remind me and I can, I can do it. Hello. But like, it's also about owning your, owning who you are, right? So like it's, if you have an accent and you think that's a flaw, it's about owning your flaws. So it goes back to selling a little bit and about turning negatives into positives, but you know, you have to own the flaws. What's going on? Special. Ryan. Good to meet you. Welcome. We can hang out in my uh, office over here. This is Adrian, don't mind him, he's just weird. What in the world? Oh my God. Do you just carry these around no, with you? Because no. they're quite obnoxious, to be honest with you. These are, I would wear these every day. No, you would. I promise Put you. Put them on and see how obnoxious they are. Where, I mean, it goes over my wedding ring, which well, is great. Yeah, well. Yeah. You do it for like, it's like doing autograph signing, but you have to take them off. You know, like, because they're kind of sharp on the side, kind of cut your fingers and all that. This is insane. Completely insane. Wait, can I take a photo with these? Go for it. This was never supposed to be a career. Like, it was, it was just supposed to, yeah, I mean, I guess, I, I, but I, I would get addicted to the work. Yeah. Like, I really like the work, like the day in, the day out, the work, which most people don't like. Most people like to do the deals and the people. Like, for me, the deals and the people are almost ancillary. Like, I really like working and doing the work, and that's what the book is all about, right? Like, how do you control an uncontrollable business. Like, don't focus on the deals. 
If you do the work, the work is gonna take care of you, right? And so like, you know, I, I compare, you know, this team that we have. So we sell more than anybody, right? We sell, we're the number one selling team in New York for three years in a row. We're number three in the entire country. And I compare the team a lot to a football team because it's like, you can make a lot of money. I can quarterback deals and make a lot of money for everybody and we can all do it together. No one here is an assistant, no one here is a junior, but you gotta wake up every day. You gotta like work out, you gotta like get your mind right, be excited, and you gotta go to battle every day because you gotta call people that don't wanna talk to you. You gotta go meet people who are gonna give listings to other people. You're gonna have really bad days where you're like, fuck this, you're gonna have weeks that suck and then you're gonna make a mistake and feel bad about it. Like there's gonna be bumps, you know? especially, especially for the first two years. But you just have to have that expectation. You're like a walking Boston billboard, right? And a lot of people who are buying and selling homes watched you on television for nine years. And it'd be really, really cool. And, and then if you walk, so same thing for me. Like a lot of people meet me and they are not expecting to hire me. They just thought it would be cool because they watched the show for nine years. And then I walk in and I tell them exactly what we're gonna do, how to do it. I show them my entire book of business, all the success that we have. And they're like, oh shit. Wait, you you're actually good at this. I'm like, yeah, of course. I'm like, oh, we should we should go with you. I'm like, yeah, you should. I'm like, okay, we weren't anticipating this. <laughs> so you have to just surprise people with what you know, um, and that, that'll take two years. Right? Yeah. So talk to him and let me know. Cool. Let's take. Um, so to run. Wait, we have to take another. Do you want to wear these? Yes, of course. One of I'll wear one of them. So you want to know what drives me? It's the hunger of wanting the most out of life for me and my family. It's using every single inch of every day, every gasp of air that I can possibly use to squeeze out life as we know it. Because the life that I have is the only life that I know. I don't know what it's like to have your life. Life is short. And if you don't make something of it every single day, it's absolutely meaningless. And shame on you for not using it because there's a lot of people that wish they had your life. Think about that. All the issues and problems and bullshit that you think you're dealing with right now, take a step back because someone else has it worse. Think about it. That's what motivates me. Oh, okay. Oh my God, I'm getting so much older. All right. Now, for those of you who saw the last vlog we did that was two weeks ago, you know at the end of the vlog, I said we're taking a two-week hiatus because I've got this massive, massive, massive announcement. Do a massive thing, like massive, whoa, hot. And you're right, we do have a massive announcement, and we did take a two-week hiatus. We haven't had a vlog in the last two weeks, so this is totally crazy. And so, <clears throat> the massive announcement is that I have a massive announcement and it's gonna be massive when I announce it, but I need a little more time to come up with a massive announcement because I did come up with it, but it's so massive. There's a lot of moving pieces and it's gonna be totally crazy, so you need to give me a little more time. I apologize, I'm sorry, I thought I was gonna have it ready by now, but guess what, tomorrow's Thanksgiving. It's about giving thanks. It's about giving thanks. I mean, come on. Like, we're in an amazing world right now. It's 2019, it's almost 2020. This is a time for forgiveness, so subscribe, like, link to your friends, Thank you all for watching the vlog. Thank you for watching all the vlogs. Thank you for following me. You were all the, actually, you know what? I do have a massive announcement. I do have a massive announcement. I do have a massive announcement. So Black Friday's coming up. And I'm trying to think about what kind of deal I can offer for the Sell It Like Sirhan course because I want everybody to get the best deal possible. I want to do something special, you know? Like, I don't know. <laughs> these, these books are actually, really expensive, we do the show books. Because I want all the students to learn as much as they can. I mean, I know the sale has to be big, right? I mean, the course is already, you know, affecting thousands and thousands of people. We have to get a little bit carried away with the sales that we do. It's a one day sale, you know? I know what I can do. Oh man, I got carried away. So like staring at the course, Black Friday, 50% off. Ready, set. And I think I'm gonna launch it right now. Ready, set, go!